You asked for the five best towns in Cape Cod, and guess what? Today we're gonna give them to you. Hey everyone, Matt Swerk here. You know I'm a local real estate expert, personal performance coach, income acceleration coach, and tour operator Tanzania, Africa. However, what's this channel all about? We talk everything about Massachusetts. Places to go, people to see, things to eat. Today we're talking about the five best places on Cape Cod. So, you have questions, we have answers. Reach out to us any way possible. We appreciate the uh, support on the channel. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the little bell. That way, every time we make a new video, you're gonna get notified. Um, one thing you have to remember, when it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back. So, uh, today we're talking about five best places as far as the Cape is concerned. Um, someone asked us about this. We, we have a lot of questions about the Cape. It's always a hot topic whenever we um, bring it up in the videos. I mean, it's Cape Cod. It's amazing. There's so much stuff to do. If you love seafood, you love the water, you love communities, I mean, go to the Cape. Um, and the time is limited, right? It happens year round. However, um, you know, right after Labor Day, it's like, okay, what just happened here? That's a really good time to go, by the way, because everyone disappears. Um, it's a year round place though for most, um, most residents down there. So whether you're gonna go visit there or you're looking to move down there, we're gonna talk about some of these towns right now. So um, Orleans, uh, definitely on the outer Cape. The, we, there's different areas as far as inner Cape, the middle, the out, the outskirts. You kind of see it on the map where everything is. Um, you know, joking around, I mean, anything down past Hanover, I'm like, that's Cape Cod. That's not true, that's my perception growing up as a kid. You gotta get over the bridge and I'm like, okay, now you're there, now you're on Cape Cod. Um, and we say on Cape Cod, not in Cape Cod, because it's a little, you know, it's separated by the, the water there, right? You gotta go over the bridges. Uh, either way you go, you might have some traffic, just be prepared. Um, always good time, there's good times, like Friday night later is a good time to go. Really, really early Saturday morning, that's a good time to go. Um, just be conscientious as far as the traffic patterns because that's, I would say, the only thing that would kind of throw your trip off uh, or, tr or throw your lifestyle off as far as the Cape, right? This is more for um, some of the people looking to move down there, but this is great as far as just visiting. So Orleans um, on the Outer Cape, beautiful, beautiful scenery, very, very charming town, um, has Nauset Beach, has um, Skakit Beach. Great, great beaches anywhere you go as far as the Cape is concerned. Uh, lots of opportunities for swimming. Um, um, I was gonna say seashelling, but that's not it, but you know, exploring for seashells, uh, taking walks. I mean, the coastal wonders of the Cape are just beautiful. And Orleans is a great place to be. Very, very low crime rate there. So it's very attractive to families and people looking to retire as well. Uh, has an excellent school system, uh, very highly rated. Uh, they have a, they're really focused on their culture too. They have a vibrant arts um, and culture scene there. They actually have the Orleans Cultural District that has all kinds of performances throughout the year, uh, very much focused on local artists, local musicians, uh, local performers. Um, so this is a great place for people looking for a well-rounded Cape experience. I think they're all that way, but we gotta throw some commentary in here and there. All right, this other place I absolutely love. I, I have a lot of uh, memories in uh, Wellfleet, especially a place called the Beachcomber. Uh, we'll just leave it there because I could get into some really crazy stories and you're like, Matt, I didn't know you like that. Yeah, I am, I am like that. Okay, what does that mean? I'm just, I don't even know. Okay, so um, Wellfleet really encapsulates the, the, that natural splendor of the Cape. Um, it's home to the national, uh, um, the Cape Cod National Seashore uh, that has pristine beaches, these beautiful, beautiful sand dunes, all kinds of walking trails. Um, you know, the, you have the, the luxury of being able to go swimming and sunbathing, bird watching, uh, or just enjoying a sunset stroll uh, as you go through all these walking trails. Now, what sets Wellfleet apart is absolutely, they, they have a very, very thriving art scene. Um, they have what? No, that's not a rhetorical question. They have what? Yeah, they have what? They have the Wellfleet, uh, the Wellfleet, Harbor Actors Theater, right, says what, so yeah. Who's on first, what's on second, I don't know. I'm in one of those moods, like I said, it took me forever just to make the intro of this video. Um, however, what the Wellfleet Harbor Actors Theater, um, they showcase performances year round, I mean, the Cape is, is all, the, all the time. 
it just happens to be a tourist destination in the summertime because of all the beaches. Uh, but you can go there and just see all kinds of performances being done. They also have the Wealthy Preservation Hall. That's like a cultural hub as far as uh, hosting art events, concerts, community events. And really that pulls everyone together to really have a sense of community among the residents. Um, so Wealthy is a really, really fun place. Go to Beach Gomer. It's awesome. Okay, um, lots of seafood there too. They got an awesome raw bar. All right, so raw bar or raw bar, some of the other people from out of town say. Okay, all right, Dennis, not the guy, the town, um, has a little bit of everything for, for everyone. Um, this is a pristine mid-cape destination, uh, very easy access um, to all the recreational activities that the, the Cape has. Uh, you love golf, you want to go to Dennis, they have the Dennis Pines Golf Course, they have the Dennis Highlands Golf Course, they're very, very picturesque, uh, very, very challenging to play. I tell people I've owned golf clubs for 18 years, I haven't played golf for 18 years, um, I don't play. I smack the ball around. I enjoy being outside. I have a lot of fun. What an amazing game golf is as far as playing with the mind, right? Uh, and I got to tell you, since I started understanding how the mind works with the body, my golf game has gotten so much better and I no longer want to take the club and like throw it in the woods every time. All right. Um, which I've, I've not thrown it in there, but like I've definitely smacked the club on the ground and then like, oh, what did I just do to my clubs, right? Um, Clubs don't grow on trees, you know? All right, so um, this is definitely a haven for outdoor enthusiasts because they have a very extensive net network of biking trails, uh, all kinds of beautiful nature preserves. Uh, this has the Cape Cod Rail Trail coming through it. It's a 22 mile trail. So you're gonna go through, you know, if you're biking or jogging, um, you, you know, you can see all kinds of different things as you walk through 21, I mean, 22 miles of trails. So um, it, it's a cool little area because it has, the, the housing is very diverse. It has everything from like little tiny cottages uh, to very modern homes. Uh, so it really caters to all different types of lifestyles and preferences. Um, with its central location on the Cape, uh, it's got a, it's really a favorite destination for families, retirees, and outdoor enthusiasts as well. So can't go wrong with Dennis. All right, this is one of the big ones. Everyone, well, everyone from around here knows this one, right? Uh, they know most of the towns on the Cape, but Falmouth, right? Falmouth is just famous for so many things. Immediately, I think about the Falmouth Road Race. Um, that's a really fun event. It is just steeped in history, surrounded by all types of natural wonders. Uh, it has some of the most beautiful uh, coastal landscapes that you can see. Uh, it has the iconic Shining Sea Bikeway, right? So of course, this is just 10 miles going through forests. It's going through marshes. You see the ocean. Um, this is a great place if you just want to take a nice walk, you want to take a bike ride, uh, you can just get lost in the, the, the wonders of nature there. Main Street in Falmouth, this is really bustling with all kinds of charming shops. It's got a lot of art galleries. There's a lot of art down on the Cape. Um, great, great dining options. Uh, people can just kind of stroll through Main Street, go to some of these boutique uh, places, go have a delicious meal. I was laughing with Tyler uh, earlier because he was up in um, he was up in Toronto and he was you know kind of showed me he's like yeah we did some fine. I was like he eats very very healthy and so you know I, I said how many carbs did you have and he was like. Oh man, because he showed me like this poutine that had gravy and cheese curds. I mean, this thing, like I, my arteries started getting like clogged just looking at the picture. So I said, how many carbs did you eat? And he was like, Matt, I did more fine, more fine dining. So he showed me a picture of this like beautiful bowl, had three sea scallops in it with a little bit of um, probably um, not rigatoni. What am I thinking here? Oh my gosh, uh, what's the rice dish? Risotto, right? A little bit of risotto with some veggies. It looked really, really pretty, right? It had this little like, sauce around the edge. I love fine dining, so much fun. But I was laughing with Tyler, I'm like, I gotta go to Wendy's afterwards because like, I, like I'm not full. How do you get full at one of these places? You like, you order your meal and you're like, what? This is what I get? This is like an appetizer. Um, I live to eat, I don't eat to live. So anyway, all right. Um, Back to uh, back to where we were. So uh, there's a lot of um, annual festivals that happen down as far as Falmouth is concerned. They have the Arts Alive Festival. And then what's really fun, you know, I keep talking about Cape is year round. Uh, they have the Falmouth Village Association of uh, Holiday Stroll. So you can actually go through and then do this beautiful walk, um, you know, get your jacket. You know, it's a little windy down there sometimes. Not as cold just because of that warm water coming off the ocean. So that's the great thing about the Cape. Like you don't get a lot of snow down there. Like definitely like we get up here. 
Um, so again, great sense of community, great sense of um, you know providing opportunities through culture and with local talent. So uh, the other thing that's awesome about Falmouth is um, the historical aspect of Woods Hole. Uh, Woods Hole Oceanic um, Institute is world renowned as far as oceanic research and exploration. So it's really fun just to you know see what type of projects they're working on there, um, you know, and, and tapping into one of the the other unknowns besides space. But like think about the oceans, how deep they are, and how much is still left on this planet that we haven't explored. I'm not going down that conversation right now. Although I was thinking the other day, I'm like, have we ever made it to the center of the Earth? What's there? And is the center of the Earth like a perfect sphere? All right. Anyway, inquisitive minds want to know. I told you guys, I'm in one of those moods. All right, hyenas. Hi, Annis. This is like the bustling heart of Cape Cod. This is the transportation as far uh, or the hub of transportation. You have so many things coming and going as far as Hi, Annis is concerned. Um, what, what do you mean as far as transportation? Well, this is where you're actually going to be able to take the ferry going over to Nantucket or going over to Martha's Vineyard. So uh, those are other great areas. It's not the Cape. Those are our islands. Uh, definitely not tropical islands by any means, although... Uh, I'll tell you one thing. Um, well, I'm going to tell you a little secret, okay? I have never been to Nantucket. Martha's Vineyard? All the time. Nantucket? Mm -mm. Um, there's, a, there's a reason behind that. I'm not going to get into that right now. Uh, that's a whole other conversation that I, would, I would have with one of my personal performance uh, clients. Anyway, the... Um, the being in Hyannis, it's it, it just, it's, it's amazing to be able to just, you can go over to Martha's Vineyard or to Nantucket just for the day. Uh, you can rent bikes there. I mean, you don't, you can walk around. I mean, both islands are pretty big as far as walking around. So you definitely need some type of transportation, but get right, right off the ferry. I mean, there's so many things to do. So, um, they also have a very bustling main street as well. Um, great for the residents as far as dining experiences. They have some gourmet restaurants that Tyler would go eat to. Um, I would go with him, but then I'd go to Wendy's afterwards. They got a vibrant nightlife as well. I'm not talking about the boom, boom, boom techno clubs. Just a lot of different things to do as far as the community is concerned. Um, they also have Hyannis Harbor. Beautiful, beautiful, picturesque harbor. Great for boating enthusiasts. Uh, and it also gives you the opportunity to go out and take some of the, um, the scenic cruises as well. So one of the more notable attractions as far as Hyannis is concerned is the John F. Kennedy Hyannis Museum. Now the Kennedy family had a very, very strong presence here in Massachusetts and the museum down there actually helps to show the connection of, of how the Kennedy family um, really had some great influences on the Cape and what their uh, impact on that community was. We also, I know we're not talking about this in this video, but we also have the JFK um, Museum over in uh, Dorchester that's a really, really cool experience. Uh, a lot of people locally don't go there. And I've had the pleasure of going a couple times. And uh, if you guys were in Africa with me and going to a museum, you'd be like, Matt, you're really gonna sit there for four hours and look at one thing? Yeah, I like to appreciate what people have done and how they've done it. I saw this thing. It took the guy 37 years to do this carving. It was probably what, like I'm six feet tall, so it was probably like, 18 feet tall, I'm not exaggerating. It was this giant spiral and it was all these little like people together and it told the story of like, we are one and everyone helping together in this giant community. Absolutely amazing, it was so cool. So, purpose of today's video, I gave you a couple highlights. Just get out there, start exploring and discover what is your perfect slice of the cape. All right, we made it through, holy moly. Uh, I guess I'm getting excited for the 4th of July and everything's going on. Um, but you know, we just wanna put something together as far as like, what do we feel are some of the best towns you know, on Cape Cod? There's so many that's there. I mean, I could just start rallying off all these different names. Um, Provincetown, you know, Sandwich, I mean, the list goes on and on. There's something for everyone as far as Cape Cod's concerned. So if you have questions, you reach out to us. You know, if you're wondering, you want to go visit, or if you're looking to move down there, um, you know, you want to know what some of the best places to, you know, to go play mini golf. I don't know. Uh, reach out to us. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, we appreciate the support on the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You just got to remember, when it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back.